Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yuan Yuan Sword 7 on a Mysterious JG. Uh, part of the weirdness of this game for me, because I'm playing them in these different chunks, sometimes I get... It's, it's, I wouldn't usually get more than uh, two hours of this game uninterrupted, because I got so many things going on on the channel, but... Sometimes I get an hour, sometimes I get two hours, four videos. Occasionally I've had longer. As a result, I have there's different things going on in this game. So I'll have an entire uh, play session where I'm mostly playing the chess game. Um, I'll have an entire just all fighting session. Sometimes an all storyline side quest session. This has been all puzzles. But, well, not all puzzles. We had some combat, but... Excuse me, I think we're about to open up this big door. If I didn't do this right, though, I'm kind of boned. Like, I don't know... what to do. Oh, unless there's another aspect of the puzzle left to solve. I love that I'm pushing Chew around. Okay, so there's more to it than just, uh... Okay, never mind. There's a whole different aspect to this part of it. It's not the order in which you push them in. Hmm. Okay. Alright, I have to arrange them that way. It's not just push them in in this order and then hit this button to, to, to set it all right. I have to actually get them in that order. Okay, so we want... 2-2, two, two, we want, okay, we want bottom one unlit, followed by middle one unlit. So I basically want to reverse the order of these two. So let's pull them both out. I assume we're going clockwise. I love Chu just standing there. This is a lot of work to go to to open that door every single time. I mentioned at the end of the last video, Jim Cornette's podcast. I'm not trying to promote it or anything. It has a hundred million times more view or listeners than I have viewers. But um, yeah, he did this whole story from his childhood about. Uh, so you can move the camera around the board about um he was a small boy and he his mom left the house and he closed the door behind her and it locked and he couldn't get it to open from the inside because he was just small and she got all she was yelling at him and then he was like four and he was like mom you told me to close the door like it's just a you know, cute little story i'm not remembering well but yeah this would be a situation you leave your four-year-old and you're trying to let them get them to let you back in because the door's locked and the four-year-old has to do this puzzle every time it's gonna be a problem all right, so now I've got it. Two with one, and then the one in the middle. Now the next one would be only the top one is lit. So let's move this out. Actually, there's no reason not to move them all out. I mean, these remaining three. But this is the one I actually want to move to that spot. And I thought there would be some kind of you-can-rotate-them aspect to the last puzzle, but there was not. Alright, so I'll get this out. But it's the... only the top one is lit. I want it placed... There, I think. Yep. Let's 
I sure hope there's not a very specific, like, this, it has to be the position the first one's in. Maybe I should get ahead of that right now in case that's what's happening. Let's just place them and hope that's not the case. If it is, I have to pull everything out, rotate it around, push everything back in. So next would be, uh, only the top one is not lit, which would be, no, that would be you, okay. Maybe that I could have had one fewer turns going the other way, but it was kind of a six and one half dozen situation here. I appreciate King and all the help he gave us in this puzzle. It was really useful. It was great that he helped us out like that. So if this doesn't work, I gotta pull everything out, rotate it over like one more, and then push everything back in. Let's see. Bottom one unlit, middle unlit. Bottom two unlit. Then two bottom unlit and middle one lit. Or two bottom lit, middle one unlit. I think they're in the right order. Unless it wants them to go counterclockwise, which it could be. Alright. Everything gets pulled out, everything gets rotated one. Okay, this just this stopped being a good puzzle. When now it's like you're slightly off, you know, or at least you think you know what to do to fix, but there's like several, like you know, not several, but you got like a whole bunch of actions just to jiggle the puzzle once slightly. Because if this was just a puzzle solving game, um, it probably wouldn't have an interface that would involve rotating the camera and moving your over the shoulder third person perspective action hero to a thing and ha having him touch it and having him. Like the amount of time it takes him to drag these things in and out of place. All this makes sense in this game world. But as a puzzle mechanic, it is annoying as fuck. Because it's like, okay, I know how to do it already. I just... It shouldn't make sense. It shouldn't matter what sequence you push them in, but... Just to be on the safe side, let's... Oh wait, actually that's wrong. According to what I just said about being on the safe side, I should have done that one last. No, wait, that was next. Yeah, there's gonna be this whole thing like, are they in exactly the, are they backwards? Is it supposed to be that order counterclockwise? In which case, I'm gonna, like, if, if it comes down to that, I'm gonna spend the entire video on this fucking shit. Like, I will, I will try these with every position, and then it's like, okay. Let's do the whole thing over and go counterclockwise. Just walk in place into the, into the thing. Jiang. <laughs> Say something, you fucking bird!
Okay. So this is... I'm thinking this is the starting position because it's the one closest to the door. And it's three with the bottom one unlit. Then if you go clockwise, you get... Only the middle one is unlit. Oh, excuse me. Did I do something wrong? Only the middle one is unlit. Oh, I am going counterclockwise. Bottom two are unlit. I'm going counterclockwise. Bottom two are lit. And then the last one is... Middle one is lit. Okay, so I'm going counterclockwise. That might be the whole problem. Alright, let's try the same thing, but going clockwise. I'm not sure why I started going counterclockwise, but... I thought I was going... I don't know. The words are getting confused in my muddled brain here. This wasn't a very stressful uh, Yuan Yuan Seven Sword uh, playthrough session for me. From a fighting perspective. Excuse me, even though I managed to game over once. <laughs> but, um. I think after all this dragging pillars around, I will be ready to take a little break from this. Okay, so now. What I want to do is rotate everything around twice to the left and then push this in because this is the only the middle one is lit. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. That'll work, but what I want to do, I'm sorry. I'll do right twice, push this in. Right again, push that in. I'm trying to think too many moves ahead is actually making it worse. It'll be better to just do a move, check and see if that did what I wanted it to, and then get it back. Okay. Hong over. Nope, just gonna get out of the way. Oh, I sure thought I was done with this at the end of the last video, eh? Overconfidence. I guess I'm gonna rotate twice each time. I like how Hong just lifts a leg as these pass her by. What if she did it a minute ago? I guess that was just a coincidence. This is a good, you know, a male dog about to pee. I guess a female dog would do the same. I don't know. Female dogs, like, would they just lift a single leg and pee? Uh, they'd have, like, less uh, directional control, but wouldn't it be the same basic? Would they care? I mean, they're dogs. Whee! This is fun! I love the puzzle sections! Whee! I mean, even if we could just be like... Hit a button and Jiang turns and have... Actually, it would, it would just be uselessly extra complication to, to try to have all three party members participate and you control it. But you would think it would be like, okay, I'll stand here and push push them in position. Hong, you stand there and push those into position. Jiang, you uh, turn the wheel. You know, they're just kind of standing there and letting him do the heavy lifting. He's the, he's the man. He has to take the lead in these things. They are but woman folk. Women folk? Anyway, that was it. it was, I had it counterclockwise that whole time. No particular reason it would be clockwise over counterclockwise, but yeah, that's the probably the first thing I should have checked. It's like, wait, it's going to be clockwise, right? These are, after all, the clockwork warriors uh, whose puzzles were solving, so they couldn't possibly be going counterclockwise. That would be against their very nature. Oh, fuck. I probably should have gone back and saved. Are we going to find her dead or something? 
，这些机关明显是大小姐的手笔啊。子旭，你们来看看，不觉得此处有些怪异吗？墙后有路。子旭说的没错，夫人设置机关后，将妖魔引来此地。接着，妖魔为了追他而触发机关。Okay, so she's trying to kill monsters. She's millennia. Or no, it's not millennia. Well, millennia is killing people, but. 是啊，去了别处。大小姐不在遗迹。She paying when are you gonna accept it? She's dead. Hope is truly so. This door is definitely going to lead to Mulang River, known as the most famous hiding place of missing ladies in green. Enter the secret passage. Yang is really intent on going in there. Poor guy, he's. This will open that door. The question is, do I feel like there's a boss fight on the other side of this door? And do I want to go save? Would they throw a boss fight at me without giving a save point first? They usually give you a save point. I might be being a little paranoid here. There was nothing in the hall, empty and chilling. The king always said that madam was a gentle and graceful person. But I always wondered whether she was actually cold, just like this ruin. Ooh. Could be. Could be. Well, I said this room is empty, but, uh... See, I feel like this could be a campfire. I'm just... Doing a cursory check for breakable jars. So all these will be set in place, and I'm probably being overly paranoid. But just to be on the safe side, in case there is a Weep. in case we have some troubles. Let's go ahead and save point. Because it's not really that far. It's actually, uh, it'll, be, it'll take longer to get back than it did to get here. Because we can't take the little shortcuts of hopping down. But um, it actually won't be too bad. We're not, I'm, maybe I'm just being paranoid. I will throw down a save just in case we get some dialogue that you can, because this would be potentially unique dialogue. Like right after you solve that puzzle, but before you Go through the next secret passageway. Xi Yun 那儿，就连卜筮之术也与中原大不相同。遇过最有趣的，便是南方国度的鸟卜。鸟卜，这个本大王倒有兴趣了。I am aroused. 来听听。就怕吉鹏大王听了吓着。哈，本大王见的可不比你少。I've seen far more than you do, Junior. 这鸟卜红碎木巨星，在进行之前，族人会先杀猴。以猴血祭祭拜，祭拜以后便由巫祝带领入山进行鸟补仪式。Oh, I love murdering animals. 鸟儿要怎么做鸟补呀？这就是厉害的地方了。鸟儿是直接从树林里走向巫祝的。抵达部族的圣地后，巫祝念诵咒语，便会有只七彩羽毛的鸟儿出现。嗯哼。巫祝会将它捧起，给族人们巡视一遍后，将之杀死。哇！啊！这。不会是以鸟血卜卦吧？可惜，大王猜错了。巫祝会将鸟符剖开，若里面充满骨素，来年就将丰收；若是充满砂石 ，Why would a bird's stomach be full of sand and stone? I don't really understand that. Maybe there's a reason. 听起来真是毛骨悚然。I guess chickens will eat like rocks to grind corn or something. 要是被当成神鸟就糟了。小鬼多虑了，本大王可没那么容易被捉住的。My clockwork vest will help me. Oh, and now we got avian divination as a part of the journal. I love these ones. Like, I guess these are like uh, Tai Chi Jiang's like own personal cartoon drawings, which are kind of fun. 
And the Central Plains Mystic used the eight trigrams to predict the future. In ancient times, people burned turtle shells and read their fortunes in the cracks. In western regions, they have an avian divination where a shaman makes sacrifice of monkey blood, then cuts open a sacred bird to see whether there is grain or gravel on its belly. I asked Sister Hong why they called it the avian divination, if the blood uses from a monkey, but she shrugged and said she didn't know. Ken Jinping, on the other hand, reacted strongly to the story. He started mumbling to himself and called these people barbaric. I guess it really scared him. She just doesn't fucking remember, like, you know, it's just her own version of what the fuck happened. She'd be, she'd be great on, like, Fox News. It's like, here's, here's my version of what happened, reported as fact. <laughs> Even though it's very loosely based on what actually happened. Alright, so... January 6th was like a regular tourist visit. Everyone was peaceful and supportive. Uh, I getting political about the fuck there's only like three people watching and they all know me at this point like i saw a, a news story the other day about uh, protests uh over roe v wade being overturned which was really made me just like shake my head now i don't want to get into the roe v wade and, and and my feelings on that but the news story was like it was like a fact check thing because there were conservative outlets were reporting that it was like and and a republican i think this was in like um Oh, it was in a western, one of the western states. Like a, a Republican uh, state legislator was talking about people like trying to break into the building and that it was a riot and, and saying that they were trying to overthrow the state government. And then there were other like news sources that were saying it was peaceful. And I just remember thinking, well, fuck, I wasn't there. I'll never know. I can't trust any fucking news sources anymore. And like there was some protests about Roe v. Wade and you literally, one of them says, bloody riot worse than January 6th, and another one was like, it was fine. And if you weren't there yourself, it's like listening to Tai Chi Chiang. I asked Hong about this. I'm like, no, you didn't. We just watched this dialogue un unfurl. <laughs> dialogue unfurling, folks. That's the main point of this entire game. And now it comes an eight-part puzzle to get this thing Walk, walk. I wasn't scared. That that part was also a lie in her her narrative. Walk. Now watch. We immediately run into a uh, save point, which means it was a waste of time to go back. But it wasn't a waste of much time. And yeah, we hit a button, and we summoned. Uh, hmm? Insanity gas and the mega rock. <laughs> Traps are still here, I mean. Well, I don't really told her the one. It was kind of made up. Yeah, so let's say she, he, he told her a story about the moon palace, but that was, that was really all that happened. Uh <laughs> This is kinda cute. She wore multiple gowns. 红儿回到了长安，可是长安已变了个样，出现了许多妖魔，妖魔还把太傅给吃了。What the fuck? Is this how the story was going to end before she was here to listen? 他想着，哎，要是留在月宫，就不会知道这些事情了。为什么我要回来呢？这是。just then, she realized that all the terrible things would have happened, and what the hell, she would have helped anyone. Nope. 
He's unexplained friends. I've never been part of the narrative up to this point. I didn't say there were three. That is kind of like how telling uh, stories to children of a certain age goes, though. They're like, if things are going bad, they don't want details or, or logic. They just want, then suddenly so and so appeared and rescued them. The end. Like, doesn't really matter. Like, well, where was so and so before this happened? Why are they just now getting involved? So we got updates on Tai Chi Xiao and Tai Chi Shang. Another way to, to check our progress in the story, of course, is to see how many of these updates we have left to go for these characters. And there's not a whole lot left for either. Well, maybe we're not as close to the end as we thought. Maybe I just I took way longer to play through this game than how long to beat would suggest. I don't like that. Uh, I kind of think my brother's never actually shared his feelings with me. We talk of it, but he's always doing the talking. He just let... This listen tries to cheer me up. He's never shared anything with me when he's been upset. Maybe that's why I sense a distance between us. I never really know what's on his mind. I've been chasing after him for so long, and now, for the first time, he has come to me. Maybe we can finally be equals. Kaishi Jiang is, like, obsessed with the re earning the respect of her big brother. Like, I'm not saying that's anything wrong with that, but is that kind of normal for, like, a child? The person they think of as their parental figures? I guess she's... How old is she supposed to be that she really cares about him not seeing her as a little sister anymore but that, that appears to be her main character motivation it's not utterly illogical so what the hell lovely stop and look back at me etc etc she was a fragile child it doesn't really tell her exact it doesn't tell us exactly how old she is but maybe maybe on the character screen it does you know she's supposed to be like I'm terrible at judging age. Is what she's supposed to be like nine or ten or something like that? She can finally fight at brother's side. New body doesn't frighten her that much. I always felt like an outsider when she's drawing her brother discuss the Lejeune. Uh, anything else was serious? I felt left out, having nothing of value to add. All those life and death decisions were being made without me, and I started to worry they might leave me behind. But did brother just agree to let me help fight the monsters? If that's the case, I need to do what I can. She had been helping to fight the monster. She can live in this automata. She has no need to hide behind brother. Yeah, she's into the whole robot body thing. Well, I think it's time to call it a video. But since I was planning to call it a session, I need to actually get to a save point. Um, and we already backtracked. Let's just... Let's just see. Hopefully this video doesn't go super long. Let's just, like, plunge forward until we get a save point. I kept thinking we were about to get a boss fight, and... Now I'm less concerned about that, and if we do, next time we'll just, uh, I'll just go off screen through the bit of stuff we need to get to the boss fight. But here's the river, whatever. And there's a hut. Molang River. Going river, keep on walking, miss you, you keep on shining. Oh, never mind. Maybe I should have just called it a video because we're about to get some major plot. That really doesn't appear to be her. Wow. I guess I should have called it a video. Shut up! I can't just skip. I tell you what, guys. I'm going to call it a video. I'm going to have a change of plans. Uh, I'll pay for this later when I'm trying to get caught up on Neo 2. But yeah, like I, we got to see this. This is a major plot point. I can't just stop now. So when we come back next time... I'm doing an extra video or two of, of uh, this. I don't know why I keep bringing the meta up for your purposes. Uh, tune in next time, and we're actually meeting the woman in the lady in green, who was just... We were freaking out. How could she not be here? Oh, she's in a hut, like, four... You know, four-minute walk away from where we, sh we thought she was. It's fine. And we'll talk to her next time. Bye-bye.